With kids and dogs out and about this spring, something is bound to happen when the two groups encounter each other, particularly if a child provokes a dog, resulting in a dog provoking a child. Believe it or not, there are over four and a half million dog bites that occur each year. If you want to take the bite out of a dog's bark, let me provide a few suggestions. First, teach your child to be careful around pets. They should always ask permission from a dog's owner before petting the dog and never approach a strange dog they don't know. Remind your kids never to bother a dog that's caring for puppies, sleeping, or eating, and never leave a baby or small child alone with a dog. It's also important if you own a dog to make sure your dog is vaccinated against rabies. If a dog appears threatening, teach your child to stay calm, avoid eye contact with the dog, they should stay still or back away slowly until the dog leaves, but never turn around and run. And if a dog knocks a child down, they should curl into a ball and keep their hands over their face and neck. If a bite does occur, apply pressure to stop the bleeding and then wash the wound out with lots of soap and water for several minutes, ideally using something with some pressure, such as a sink hose. The wound should then be covered with sterile gauze or a clean cloth while you call your healthcare professional for further instructions. When do we worry about a dog bite? Well, if a bite wound continues to bleed for more than 10 minutes despite compression, is deep, appears red, hot, swollen, is draining pus, or comes from an unknown animal, then please seek medical attention to determine if further treatment such as stitches, antibiotics, or rabies prevention is indicated. Hopefully, tips like this will cover any particular issues you have when it comes to knowing more about what to do if you're worried about your child getting bitten by a dog. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.